guys so it was requested that i um do a video on my franken polishes now a franken is where you take a polish that you already have maybe you don't like the color um maybe the formula isn't that great whatever the reason um maybe you were just inspired by something maybe you are trying to replicate something that has been hard to find and you've not found it so you try to make your own um so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and show you some of my franken polishes i've created some names for some of them others i really have not so let's just go ahead and, and get started here so this first one up needs a little bit of a shake and so will the second one for sure um, this one here was just a clear Sinful Colors polish that I added some holographic glitter to, to make a holographic top coat. There's really nothing spectacular about it. I'm going to use one of these wheels that I've repurposed. Okay. And there's nothing really special about it. It's just a holographic top coat. Um, I was just playing around. But here is one coat of that holographic top coat. This one does give a pretty good glitter payoff on one coat. So one coat is pretty much all that's really needed for that. Second one might be a little hard to see. I have to give it a shake. This one I put in a julep clear. Um, and this is a Spectra Flare top coat. Let me get all of that. And I did put a mixing ball in here so that it would be, as you could see on the bottom, it's all settled there. That clear sinful colors was probably something left over that I already had made. Um, I added clear to. And here is the Spectra Flare top coat. Pretty much all mixed. Still got some sitting at the bottom. I don't know how well you're going to see it over a white base, but here we go is one coat of a Spectra Flare top coat okay next up something I wore fairly recently um, someone on the Facebook sinful colors group inspired me for this I don't know if she found it somewhere in a stash if she got it by accident I really don't know, but it intrigued me, and it looked something like this. And I couldn't tell you what I mixed. I mixed quite a bunch of stuff, because there's shimmer in there. There's rainbow flakies. Um, yeah, so I don't even remember what I mixed in here, not even to get the color. So let me go ahead and show you and there's the brush again if I took more time and shook it a little more a lot more of those flakies and whatnot would come out but this Franken series is actually going to have two parts to it because I have like 13 or 14 or 15 I don't remember how many I have I'm gonna put that one upside down for a couple minutes this next one used a base of sinful colors Ruby Ruby I'm gonna shake it and it has spectra flare and hollow glitter in it and it's a red so I mean you don't really see all of that too very much that 
and I ordered a lot, a Sinful Colors lot or a Polish lot or something when I first started from eBay. And I ended up getting like three or four of these Ruby Rubies. So I think I, I sold a few. I may have given one or two to a friend. I've kept one. And I frankened one. So yeah. Okay, so this next one I've named Meadow Skies. Now Kristen Johnson did these polishes where she took Maybelline's Precious Pearls, which is just a matte white glitter mix, and mixed different colors with it. So I was always on the hunt for a Maybelline Acid Wash to polish, and I finally found one, but there were more to the group. So you're going to see a lot that I've done like this because I really, really liked that acid washed one and wanted to mimic as many colors as possible. Again, I can't tell you what color I added to get this color, but it is like a mint green with those matte white hexes. And I know it wasn't a clean color polish. It was just an empty bottle. So guys, if you have empty bottles, save them because you can make your own different colored nail polishes with them. So here is one coat of what I call Meadow Skies. And all you're basically doing is taking other nail polishes and adding them to a base of something. Okay, so this next one I used a base of Sinful Color Social Ladder. <clears throat> and I used embossing powder. And I made textured polishes. So here is that. So this kind of reminds me of Fresh Fallen Snow. I did not name this yet. I, this was actually part of a project polish, and that's why I decided to... I figured I'll, I'll give it something better. <laughs> I'll repurpose it. So there that is. Alright, and here is one coat of the social ladder texture. It's going to look a little weird because it is showing, it is sheer. So it's kind of showing the, um, the icky base underneath. Because I, I don't feel like buying more nail wheels. I'm being cheap. So I painted over them with white. <laughs> I figure at least I have at least 600 wheels and I don't use them anymore. So why not repurpose them? Next one, I used a Milani Diamond Dazzle, which as you should know, is an iridescent. Um, oh, sorry, guys. My knee was crushed. It's an iridescent glitter topper. Don't know what I added, but I made it into an aqua color. And there's that on the brush. And yes, it is a little thick, but this polish from Milani was kind of thick to begin with. So it's probably another reason why I like repurposed it. Next up is a Wet n Wild. Um, I used Tickle Pink. This is another textured polish that I made using, um, what do you call What's it called? Embossing powder. That's it. Okay. So there's that. I don't remember which embossing powder. It might be the same one as I used on the pink or on the sinful colors textured one. Might not be. I have so much. Now, since these are all collection videos, would you guys like to see, like, um, stamping plate collection, 
um, my caviar bead collection, glitter collection, um, stuff like that. If you would, um, let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can work on that. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to pause and I'm going to go in for the second coats on these and I will be back. Okay, so here we are. I put two coats on everything except the, the two top coats because I only have a little of them to begin with. And they're basically just top coats. So here is that first one that I showed you. Here is the Spectra Flare top coat. Here is, I'm calling this like Moonlight Madness. It is very pretty. I did wear it. This is, I think I called this Ruby Fire. And reds are so hard to get a Spectra Flare and hollow in, but I kind of like the way that looks. Here is what I call Meadow Skies. This is my social ladder texture. I will come back in part two and actually show you the texture when it's dry. This is my Diamond Dazzle turned green. And this is um, a tickled pink textured, which doesn't really let those holographic glitters come through, but <clears throat> still pretty. Okay, so that was it for part one of my Frankens. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I've inspired you. <clears throat> um, stay tuned and I will be back because I'm going to do part two. And of course, it'll be uploaded on a different day. But we're going to film today. So I shall see you in a bit. Bye.